Now let us study about a stable and unstable equilibrium of a current carrying loop in magnetic field. Here you can see there are two square or rectangular shaped coils placed in uniform magnetic field B. In one coil A B C D the current is flowing in clockwise manner and the other coil P Q R S current I is flowing in anti-clockwise manner. Now in this situation if we analyze this first case here we can see as per the direction of this current carrying loop its magnetic moment can be taken in inward direction. So here its m vector which we define as current multiplied by the enclosed area it exists in inward direction that is parallel to the direction of magnetic field. So we write here m vector and b vector are parallel and the angle between them can be taken as zero degree. So in this situation if we calculate the torque on loop and this torque we write as m cross b. So in this situation it will be mb sin theta. So this can be taken as zero. If there is no torque acting on the loop we can say that the loop will be in equilibrium. And in this situation we can also calculate the interaction energy of this loop with the magnetic field. So this can be written as minus m dot b and substituting the value of angle this will be minus m b. That is the minimum possible energy which is possible in this situation. So for minimum energy we can state that this is the state of stable equilibrium because the interaction energy is minimum. This we can also define in terms of forces like here we can see this wire AB will experience a magnetic force in upward direction by right hand thumb rule you can check on this wire BC the magnetic forces toward right on all these wires the magnetic forces are acting in the direction away from each other. In this situation if we consider an axis of rotation if we consider this as axis of rotation and we slightly tilt this coil like if we tilt it by an angle theta in this manner you can see the magnetic forces which are acting on sections AD and BC will have a tendency to pull the coil back to its equilibrium position and it will oscillate about the axis of rotation like this. In this situation we can see the magnetic forces acting on wire sections BC and AD will create a couple and due to which the coil will always has a restoring tendency. So we can say in this situation the coil or this current carrying loop will be in stable equilibrium. Similar situation if we analyze in this situation where we can see according to the direction of current its magnetic moment m vector exists in outward direction which is along the area vector given by the circulation of current. So here we can write angle between m vector and b vector is this theta is 180 degree or pi radians. So again in this situation we can see torque on loop which is given as tau is m cross b. Here again we can see as the angle is 180 degree the net torque acting on the loop will be zero. So this is also a state of equilibrium. But here if we calculate the interaction energy of the loop with the magnetic induction it will be minus m dot b and on substituting the value of theta 180 degree as minus m b cos theta it will be m b which we can see the maximum possible energy in this situation. So this must be the state of unstable equilibrium and this we can analyze by the direction of forces again like here like previous case we consider an axis of rotation. The direction of magnetic forces on bar QR we can see this will be in inward direction. This is the magnetic force on QR and on PS it will be in rightward direction. This is also inward. So for these magnetic forces we can see if the coil is slightly tilted by an angle theta with the direction of magnetic forces you can see the couple produced by these forces will continue to rotate the coil till it will reach 
the final position similar to this which is the stable equilibrium position and it will start oscillating about that point. So, here we can see we slightly tilt the coil the couple of magnetic force will exert a torque on the coil in the direction away from this equilibrium position which also verifies that the state of equilibrium is unstable in nature.